Yes, sister. Can we have the next question? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Hanisa from a student bachelor of dakwah. Uh, nowadays, people say that Muslim having more extremists than other religions, and we can see that brotherhood in Islamic states are finished. So, uh, my question is. What is the best solution? Sister, can you repeat the question? I could not, I could not hear your question clearly. Nowadays, people say that Muslims having more extremists than other religions. Muslims having more? Extremists. Extremism yeah. than other religion, yes. Uh, and we can see that brotherhood in Islamic State are finished. So my question is, what is the best solution? To settle all this issue revolving around the reputation of Islam. Thank the, you. The sister asked a very important question that Muslims are extremist and brotherhood is decreasing. What is the solution? Sister, you know, people, the media labels that Muslims are extremist, and I tell them I am an extremist. I'm extremely kind, I'm extremely merciful, I'm extremely honest, I'm extremely just. I'm extremely loving. What is right? What is wrong in being extremely kind, extremely merciful, extremely just, extremely honest? I cannot say that I'm honest when it benefits me, and if it doesn't benefit me, I'm not honest. Allah says in the Quran, you have to be just, you have to be kind, you have to be loving. I'm following the I'm an extremist in following the Quran. I'm an extremist. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 208. Enter into Islam wholeheartedly. I cannot say that I'm partly following Quran. But, but, we have to be extremist in the right direction. We don't have to be extremist in the wrong direction. What people are, there are some people who are fanatic. I'm an extremist, but I'm not a fanatic. Extremist means I, I want to follow the Quran completely, not partly. Extremely kind, extremely loving, but I'm not a fanatic. Fanatic means a person, as the Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 171, La taglufi dinukum. Do not commit excesses in your religion. Going to an extreme in the religion is permitted. You cannot commit excesses in your religion. You can't commit excesses. So we as Muslims, we should be extremely close to the Quran. Follow all the teachings of Allah and His Rasul. And not a single teaching of Allah and His Rasul will take you away from humanity. You point out no human being in the world can point out a single teaching of the Quran, not a single hadith of Muhammad which was against humanity. There may be some teachings who non-Muslims may think is against humanity, but the moment you give the logical reason, and the answer, you'll find that all the teachings of the Quran and Sunnah are for the betterment of humankind. It is our understanding that we don't realize why Allah has ordained that law. And if you follow the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there will be peace in whole world. For example, some people may object, what kind of religion is this? That when anyone robs you, chop off the hand? And they think that when you go to Saudi Arabia where this law is practiced, every second person will have his hand chopped off. I have been to Saudi Arabia more than 80 to 100 times. I have never found a single man whose hands have been chopped off. Surely there will be some people whose hands have been chopped off, but it's not as common as you think. The law is so strict that a person before robbing will think a thousand times. And do you know America, which happens to be the most advanced country in the world, according to statistics today, the maximum theft in the world today takes place in America. The maximum crime in any part in the world takes place in America. Every, every one second, one theft or robbery is taking place in America. Do you know that? I'm asking you the question. Islam has a solution. All the rich people give zakat to those who require it. And after that, if anyone robs, chop off his or her hand, as Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse number 38, if you implement this rule in America, that every rich person gives zakat, 2.5% of his excess wealth in saving, and after that, if anyone robs, 
chop off his or her hand as a punishment. I am asking the question, will the rate of theft and robbery in America, will it increase or will it decrease? Mister, will it increase or will it decrease? It will decrease. It's a practical law. You don't have to be a scholar. You implement the Sharia and you get results. So what we realize is that if you follow the Quran extremely, completely, you will get the solution. Quran is the solution to the problems of humankind, sister. Hope that answers the question. Uh, there are person that just take the authentic or the Sahih hadith without the explanation or the reason.